Hey, good morning, YouTubers. I was out here for about uh, two hours now. Um, I tried a new spot. I was here once before. I don't know if you recall, but I did find those unembossed medicines there and that spoon. But today, so far, I expanded my search a little bit. Came up with a sauce bottle. And now I don't know if this is a sauce or a soda because it has a crown top. So I'm gonna make the assumption that it is a soda. Raritan, what? Oh, PJ Ritter Company. Uh, do, 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 beverage, beverages maybe? Okay, anyway, I came over here, got these other goodies too. This neat little thing, it's like a beehive looking thing. It looks like it had some sort of label on it there. A turkey sauce, maybe not a sauce. It could be a uh, spice. This nice little mineral water bottle. Pretty nice crown top mineral water, very thin neck on it. You see here, see that sloppy applied crown top? I'm well, I, I'm assuming it is, but this this is a lot older. This is a late throw, and this one also obviously a late throw. Don't know what it is. Um, it is blown. Nothing embossed on it. No. Uh, base mark but very cool anyway I was just about to say I've had enough I've been doing this whole area here all the way around and digging up stuff now just about before I'm ready to go wouldn't you know it I hit this I can't tell if it's whole or not but it is embossed so it says something along here which I I can't tell uh, it feels whole. I can't even move it in the hole. So I'm going to have to work around it a little bit because there's more embossing on it. Uh, I have no idea what it is. Guys, let me um, work on this a little bit because I don't want to do any damage while I'm here with my phone, okay? All right, let me get back to you as soon as I'm ready to extract it. All right, I think it's ready to pull now. I got underneath it with my fingers. It still felt whole, beautiful, nice, solid embossing on there. Let's take it out, let's see what it is. Please be whole. I worked hard for you, fella. Oh yeah, look at that. Let me put it over here for you. Oh, is that a beauty? Look at the size of this. It's got a little, uh, pretty big lip chip on it there, the whole, top of the crown is missing. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Clicko Club. Oh, bummer. All right, but it's the first embossed I found so far, and this is the older Clicko Club. This isn't the more modern one. But hey, it was worth a shot. And by the way, Clicko Club is celebrated. All right, let me get back to you. Hey, what do you think, guys? A bromo down here? Right there. Popped it. Well, it is. Looks like a cork top, actually. Let's see. That's oh, a biggie. That's a biggie. It's a biggie bromo. Oh, I feel better now. It's cork top. Pretty good size. Look at that. Not the largest I've ever found, but certainly, uh, very close to it. All right, I hit something else down in there. I'm gonna go back down in there and I'll get back to you. Ciao. All right, guys, down here. Oh, I'm in there. Down here, it looks like the top of a sauce bottle. Now it does go all the way back here. There's a big root there though. Okay, you see it right there? Right on top of it, right here, is a huge root. So I'm gonna be taking some time on this one, guys. I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, by the look of it, it looks like a Lee and Perrins or something along those lines. It could also be a, uh, let me just pull my glove on. It could be a North of England sauce. I'm not sure. It took me a while to cut through this root and here it is sitting down here. 
see there's some shoulder embossing right there so it's either lee and perrin's north of england sauce you know something like that all right let's see if we can grab her now there we go Whew. uh it is a blah 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 it says worcestershire there now which one is it worcestershire sauce side boss is usually lee and perrin's yep there's a lee and perrin's right there okay um no cap though that was down there quite a ways i don't know if you can see how deep that hole is oh, i'm in the shade you see that's the bottle huh it's down a good foot so uh i'm still poking around the area trying to get more and more and more but this seems to be like just around 1920 or just before that area the kind of the bottles i'm picking up here all right as soon as i find something else i'll get back to you okay guys at this one point, this will be my first crock it's got an embossing on there or writing on it but you know it feels pretty good but i'm gonna have to really take my time with this one guys because i have never found one well i i have found them but look at that up here Looks pretty good. All right, let me, let me take my time with this and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. It was broken. Yeah. Beautiful, though. I wish I could find one of these whole one day. This is the, I don't know, top maybe. Uh, and see it's broken in half. It says something fountain, maybe. R-U-S fountain. Heartbreak Hotel. That might have even been a water uh, jug. All right, down there. I've been poking around there too, trying to find some other pieces to it, but not successful. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. I had to move my spot. I wasn't hitting anything where I found the uh, ceramic piece down there. That nice jug that was broken. And I just walked maybe about 200 yards this way. I hit another section here. You know, I was probing it all out, all through here. You can see some glass by that tree over there. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. All right, poking around there, all through here. Came over here, I started hitting a lot more glass. See, just uh, some cups. I mean, there's nice pieces of uh, stoneware in here, but they're, they're all broken. So today, so far, what I've gotten, I'll probably call it quits for today. All right, we got the Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Hold on a second there, guys. The zoom is way too much for this. Okay. And we've got a Lee and Perrin's right there. Now, this little bottle, that's a machine made, but it's an early machine made. You can tell by the screw cap on it. It's a deep, uh, a deep lip on it, okay? Now this I thought was pretty cool. I always thought that there might be a, uh, a hotel around here because of the stuff I find. Sure enough, I found this shard. North End Hotel. Now we do have a North End around this area. It's in Long Branch. All right, now I'm gonna have to look that up and I'll get back to you as soon as I uh, figure out what it is. Okay, this one. This is a Mammoth Extracts, or Mammoth Brand Extracts. See that? I live in Mammoth County. Thought that was pretty neat. All right, now last, I found this Strapside Whiskey, and I'm thinking, you know, huh, pretty, pretty uh, uh, common. But then I looked over here, look at that. It's a warranted Strapside with a star on it. That, that's the first strapside whiskey I found. Oh, let me get back in the sun. First one I've ever found with any type of embossing on it. I mean, as, as far as not saying warranted. Okay, seven fluent ounces. But I thought this is, this is my find of the day right here. My first one. All right, guys. I'm shaking because I've done a ton and ton of probing and digging all throughout here. 
and your gunner's exhausted too from all the work we did. So we're gonna head out and um, I'll see you at the wrap up guys. All right, talk to you later. Bye. All right, we're heading back. We had uh, well, about uh, two and a half hours now. Came up before halfway decent bottles and uh, we're gonna head home. So right now, I'm pretty happy with the four bottles I have. Not really ultra rare, not even anything really, but they're nice looking bottles and uh, I like them. Now as the winter comes to an end, uh, that's when I start to metal detect. Right now I do a lot of wood hunt, woods hunting and bottle hunting, relics and all that stuff. But coming up shortly, and I would say within the next couple of weeks, the bottle digging is going to go by the wayside and we're going to start doing some metal detecting. Anyway, well, I hope you had a good time. It was short, but I didn't expect to really find too much. So anyway, I haven't forgotten about you. I love you guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.